Hi folks, uh, today I'm going to talk about an interesting little topic from um, uh, from something that came up from the Marvel Snap Discord uh, when one of the developers was asked uh, if they're going to take a look at Sarah as a potential nerf target uh, since they've been nerfing a lot of other meta decks recently. And the answer was kind of interesting where, where one of the developers answered that uh, Sarah is actually not a top performing card right now and uh, also that it is somewhat overrated by the more competitive players. Now it should be pretty common knowledge that like Sarah is rated as a top card and Sarah control decks are rated as uh, top decks. Uh, statistics from various deck trackers would sort of indicate that this could be true as well. Here there might be a bit of a bias where like the people who install deck trackers and the people who run deck trackers by nature are more competitive than your more casual players and since Sarah decks are considered to be fairly skill testing decks they're pretty they're pretty high skill um, more casual players might have less success when playing them whereas more competitive players will have more success playing them. So if you look at just statistics from people who have deck trackers installed, it would appear to be a more high-performing deck among competitive players, uh, when it's not, in fact, all that high-performing uh, for more casual players. But that's not exactly what the developer said, right? Because he said that it is actually sort of overrated among competitive players as well, which is why uh, it's not currently at least a nerf candidate, even if it is a card that they're keeping their eye on. And I th I thought that was interesting. That was a fascinating thing that he said. Because that's sort of been my experience with the deck as well. That it is currently not top tier. I used Sarah Control to climb to infinite uh, this month. I've been using it to climb to infinite uh, for maybe like three months in a row now. And it, you, so we, obviously you can still get to infinite with a Sarah control deck because it is still like a, a, a good deck. And if you're a good player, you can just reach infinite with any good deck. But I will say that this month's climb was definitely the hardest that I've experienced so far. The meta has sort of stabilized itself around a couple of decks that Sarah actually has a pretty poor win rate against and poor performance against most specifically galactus uh, galactus decks eat sarah for breakfast it is just it is a terrible matchup uh, because sarah is trying to sort of spread itself out over a couple of different lanes with a medium power medium to high ish on all of them galactus on the other hand picks a single lane uh, where they spew out like an an amount of power that you really can't contest in the most games and it's pretty hard to juggle priority so that you uh, play last for the for the last turn or so when you just happen to have the perfect answers you don't always have the perfect answers sometimes they play uh, null in which case you can counter it with uh, enchantress if you happen to have uh, priority and you haven't played Sarah in that lane something like that uh, sometimes you can counter some things with Goose, uh, but Goose does not stop, for example, Death, because Death is usually cost reduced down to zero, so they can still play their Death. And if they play, and if you play Goose in a lane um, where you haven't played Sarah, uh, then you just denied yourself from being able to play Shang-Chi or Enchantress as a possible counter to what the Galactus deck is doing. So it's hard it's hard to win against galactus sometimes you can predict in advance what lane they want to play their galactus in you can drop goose in that lane and like deny them from it but i'm, I'm gonna say that my win loss ratio against galactus decks is like one to ten like for, for every for every game i win uh with sarah against a galactus deck i lose like 10 games so it's, it's just a matter of like uh, realizing as quickly as possible that you're playing against a Galactus deck, try to not snap. If they snap, consider like retreating very, very early from that game. Um, unless you like, you really can see that the stars have aligned for 
you to be able to like steal a win from them. But there's a lot of Galactus out there right now and uh, Sarah doesn't perform well against Galactus. Another new player uh, in the meta is High Evolutionary. High Evolutionary decks run a lot of lane control. They run Storm, they run Spider-Man. Even after the nerf and the increased mana cost to Spider-Man, the High Evolutionary decks are still running Spider-Man and it still functions as a way of doing lane control. And again, since Sarah tries to attack like all of the lanes at once, um, and also Sarah tries to dump its hand on turn six, being locked out from like one or two lanes where you can't do your big hand dump usually means that you can't generate enough power to win. That being said, High Evolutionary decks, they're not always gonna draw their uh, lane control cards in time. They won't always have like a good setup for being able to steal lanes. Um, sometimes you can Scarlet Witch in their uh, storm lane and then you can like take it back and mess with their plans. Uh, Goose really like pulls its weight in the high evolutionary match because uh, you can typically deny them from playing Hulk because you can see what lane they want to play it in. Sometimes you can deny them their abomination as well if they haven't been particularly successful with their cost reduction shenanigans. Once in a blue moon you can enchantress their Luke Cage and then you, you can screw with their battle plan. And, and, and oftentimes you can just sort of outpower them sometimes. So it's like, I'm gonna say 50-50. I'm gonna say Sarah win rates against High Evolutionary is about 50-50. I win usually about as often as I lose against them. Another terrible matchup would be like um, Sandman Electro Ramp decks. Because again, uh, it's just completely screws over your plan. Uh, Sarah decks can't function if you're only allowed to play one card per turn. If you get a perfect like Enchantress on their Sandman, then fine. But that's usually a turn five play, which means that you can't play Sarah that turn, which means that your turn six is gonna be pretty weak anyway. Um, it's uh, it's just usually it's gonna like screw you over and of course like if your opponent identifies that you're playing a Sarah deck early uh, even if they play a Galactus deck with like wave or something they can be smart about it and not play an early wave uh, they can instead wait a bit so that they can play wave on turn five and then you're just screwed on turn six no matter what because you were gonna dump your hand so like any deck that still plays wave uh, is very hard to win against. Any deck that plays Electro is very hard to win against. Another issue is that a lot of the decks that Sarah is like really, really strong against, you don't see them all that much in the current meta. Um, Sarah performs very well against Thanos decks, and Thanos decks aren't really a thing right now. Sarah decks perform well against Shuri decks because you have a lot of answers for their plays. They're very predictable. If they armor, you can enchantress their armor lane, and uh, and then you can like just screw with their big Shuri play, which is even more telegraphed now than it used to be. You have Goose, you have Shang Chi, solid counters. Um, it's a pretty easy match. But because of the nerfs, uh, you don't see a lot of Shuri anymore. You don't see a lot of Thanos anymore. I'm gonna say my analysis of this is I think they are correct in that uh, Sarah is. Currently, right now, in this moment, in this exact spot in the meta, it's not in a super good place, but it's so meta dependent. And like, Serodex can always make a comeback if just something shakes up or something gets pulled out of the meta. One thing to really keep an eye out for, because it's been pretty highly speculated that Galactus is a card that might get nerfed pretty soon. There's been some hints that Galactus might get nerfed. And Galactus is the worst matchup for Sarah. So if Galactus takes a big hit and gets removed from the meta and just like the Galactus decks are dead, I don't think so. It's a big bad, which means that whatever nerf they do is going to be careful. They want people to still spend their 6,000 tokens to buy it. So they're not going to nerf it like they're not going to nuke it from orbit. Galactus decks are still going to be good, but they might they might hit a couple of adjacent cards instead. They might do something with Null. They might do something with Electro. What do I know? Probably not, though. It's kind of a tricky hard to, card to balance and tricky card to nerf. So I don't know how they're going to do it, but they have hinted that they, are, they might nerf Galactus. Uh, in which case, the Sarah decks are probably just going to make a comeback immediately. Uh, they're just waiting for the right meta. 
So at the end of the day, I think that this dev comment is correct. I think it's not just a skill issue. It is a skill issue. Like, don't get me wrong. Zero decks are skill testing decks. Um, good players are going to have more success with Zero decks than bad players will because they're like, it's so wide open. Like, you, you never play two games that are alike. Uh, you have to think on the fly, you have to develop a strategy on the fly, and you have a lot of decision-making as for what the optimal line of play is in every game. That's not the case for a lot of other decks. Like, Galactus decks are very straightforward, very simple to understand what you're supposed to do. Patriot decks, very simple to play. Shuri decks, fairly brain-dead. Sarah decks are, like, I can see a lot of people, like, misplaying this deck pretty often. They... Whenever I face up mirror matches, I always like scratch my head at some of the decisions my, my opponents are making, where they're just like playing bishop on three and then and then just Mysterio on four without not like anything surrounding it, losing out on so many good plays they could be making because they don't really understand how all of the cards synergize with each other. And uh, sometimes you have to be pretty patient. Sometimes you have to do setup plays where you play something like it feels like you're making a suboptimal play in the earlier turns but it, you have like this big payoff in the end if you are patient and you did set up everything correctly so it's a tricky deck to play and i think a lot of people do misplay it so i think uh, among casual players you probably aren't going to have a lot of success with the deck among casual players it might be a pretty low win rate deck but I also think that it's currently overrated by competitive players. I think that Sarah decks are currently not in a good spot in the meta. Uh, they are being outclassed by some of the more popular decks. So I think it is correct that nerfing Sarah right now at the moment doesn't make sense because it's not like a big power outlier or anything. But I also understand him when he says that it's a card that they are always keeping their eyes on. So don't count out Sarah. I think it's just temporary that Sarah decks aren't really where they where they need to be or where they should be. But um, for now, consider playing something different. For now, consider using something uh, stronger than a Sarah deck for climbing. Um, possibly something like High Evolutionary, especially the lane control version that is still strong even with the Spider-Man nerf. Probably not Galactus because it's hard to win any cubes with Galactus because people see what you're doing pretty far in advance and then when you snap they just retreat so you you win one or two cubes you never win the big eights but that's it yeah um sarah currently currently might be a bit overrated but i think that's just temporary and as soon as there's a meta shake up i predict that sarah is going to go back to being a very strong card and sarah decks are going to go back to being tier one decks uh but right now they aren't so that's the analysis, people. Thank you for listening. If you found this interesting, then maybe consider uh, subscribing to the channel, leaving a like on the video, so stuff like that. It always helps. And I will see you again sometime soon for something completely different.